On this week's episode of Know Your CEO, we get to interact with Wilson Mugambi, who doubles up as the president of the Architectural Association of Kenya and the co-founder and managing partner at Co-Design Build. Take a look. Ever want to know how a CEO sees his world? Then he is how. Apart from running an organization and strategizing, their key role is to ensure there is money in the bank. Our CEO this week is Wilson Mugambi, the co-founder and managing partner at Artco Design Build and also the president of the Architectural Association of Kenya. Work with me. Wilson. Yes. Thank you for creating time. Karibu sana Lincoln. Nice job you're doing here. Thank you. What's this? It's a, what I'll call a country villa. A country it's villa. It's a three-bedroom bungalow. Mm -hmm with uh, an annex, which has a one-bedroom studio, DSQ, a carport, and a gazebo area with a courtyard. So it's uh, one of those places where you call a retirement home. A retirement home. Yes. Did you always know that you're going to be an architect? And not just an architect, mm -hmm. but the president of, Ar of architects in Kenya? I definitely didn't think I would be president of AK, but I had a passion for architecture since a very young age. I think um, I was catching from the time I was in nursery school. And I never really took it very keenly until when I got to high school and the question of career choices came in. And that's when I realized, okay, this is a line that actually I'm actually able to go in and I have a passion for it. I was actually doing technical drawing at the time. And for me, buildings were something which was a magnet to me. I was just drawn to them. And here we are. Did, several you, did, years did, later. did your parents contribute to, to this career? Yes, they really encouraged me. Although my late dad, uh, God rest his soul, was more keen on me doing law. Sorry about that. But he, he, he actually saw my passion and my talent and appreciated the fact that I was more inclined to be an architect than a lawyer. Uh -huh. And yeah, here we are, and I think they're very proud of me. If I can Tell me about that. your journey, my journey as president. As president, I think um, my leadership journey has actually started way back in campus, whereby from day one, for some reason, you know, when you're coming together as a class and the lecturer inducting you says, okay, choose a class president, I was chosen. Just a quick poll and that was it. So the finger pointing, take this guy. What school is that? School of Architecture and Building Sciences in Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Uh, Juja. Juja. Juja boys. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's the association all about? What, what's your main role? Well, in AAK, I think uh, maybe just to finish that bit of the journey, I, more, I ideally started eight years ago. I got into it in 2013 as a registrar of the architects uh, chapter, and that's when I got to learn about the association. But I was actually a member since I was a student, I was a student member. And AAK is all about advocating for the built environment and looking out for the professionals and matters of the built environment. We are trying to make sure that not only are the professionals catered for, but also the industry and the clients are actually catered for. And the majority of our work is in looking to improve the practice environment, improving and contributing to policy making, and of course, making the welfare of all people involved much better. Mm -hmm. What are some of the new technologies that are being seen and designs that are being seen in today's industry? Well, in today's industry, what we have is a lot of, um, we're looking at alternative building technologies. You realize that uh, right now, where we are, you find that people are not necessarily sticking to the traditional building uh, modes. You find that people are thinking, I'm doing more precast panels, I'm doing more light gauge uh, roofing, uh, if people are doing flat roof roofing, if people are doing hollow pot slabs. People are more open right now because now it's a matter of cost and aesthetics. So once you get that little balance uh, as a client and as a professional, you're able now to bring in that kind of input whereby people have something which is modern, which is affordable, mm -hmm. but is very appealing. Uh, another thing we look at, like this site right now, technology. My client is able to see what's happening on site because they've actually positioned a camera somewhere which is just monitoring the whole site mm -hmm. and it's real time. He can log in at night, during the day, in the morning and actually see what is happening and push questions. So you realize that I also don't have to be here every day to question the, the team on site. You can the monitor client. remotely. Yes, I can monitor remotely. And that's where now we should be able to take the technology as a built industry and, and ensure that we're very efficient in our delivery. How many members does AK have? AK right now just has uh, just under 3,000 members. 3,000 members? Yes, 3,000 members. And um, we are comprised of seven professionals. We have architects, quantity surveyors, engineers, construction project managers, landscape architects, town planners, and environmental design consultants. And uh, we pride ourselves as being the home of the largest group of built environment professionals in the country. And in the region, actually, we are the envy of several uh, associations within the region and even uh, outside Africa in terms of how we're able to bring in all those professionals within a body and have their interests being catered to. Because I mean, what a town planner or an engineer or an architect may have in mind 
may differ, but the main purpose is we are brought together by the industry. That's a whole consortium here leading. 3,000 is not a small team. Also. Exactly. Now, the next part mm -hmm. of Know Your CEO is yes. quick fire. We get to know Wilson a, bit, a little bit in depth. Uh -huh. This is a fun part. I think <laughs> I, sh I should actually get rid of my coach. <laughs> my producer Brad is here. Maybe he'll hold it for me. <laughs> quick fire time. Quick fire time. Are you ready, Wilson? Very sad. Tell me. Build your house or design your house or have it built by someone else? Design my own house and build it myself. Have you ever been conned? Yes. How many projects have you done? Oh, I can't tell. Quite a number. <laughs> more than 3,000, more than the number? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is Gangeto? Gangeto? Yeah. Uh, the song for the current youth. The kind of music for the current youth, honestly. You know one <laughs> line. One line? Yeah. I just know things like bazoo. Bazoo, what's bazoo? <laughs> someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> if someone told you today, Wilson, mm -hmm. uh, let's go to Kanairo, where would you take them? Kanairo is definitely Nairobi. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> what do you do beyond office? I think one of the things that I really enjoy, it's actually, people think that it's an addiction, but for me it's actually a passion which keeps me very sane. It's what's golf. That? I love golf. You love golf? I love golf, yes. <laughs> Apart from the car you're driving now, mm -hmm. what's your dream car? My dream car? Wow. I've had many <laughs> dream cars <laughs> and I've never achieved them. <laughs> but I think the ultimate car would be a Land Cruiser that is a good car. A Land Cruiser V8? Yes. But now they have the V6. The I LC300. Don't I don't mind. In fact, if you can help me get one, I'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What advice do you have for aspiring architects or students of mm -hmm. architecture today? I'll just encourage them, follow your heart, and you know what's there. Do not be very strict with yourself. Well, for now you see you, it's a wrap. But I'd like Wilson Mugambi to sign out for us. Wilson, that's your camera. Uh -huh. Just tell them the conversation on Know Your CEO continues next Monday. The conversation on Know Your CEO continues next Monday. See you then.